Now, Tuesday, uh, the IRS said it would start sending letters this month to taxpayers whose longtime unpaid tax debts are being farmed out to authorized private debt collection firms. And you hear it all the time that people are uh, being told on the phone that they owe money to the IRS, they need to send money right away. And now with this new uh, law where the IRS is going to use private debt collection firms, uh, does this program created by a federal law enacted by Congress, does this uh, help with the fraud involving IRS collections going around? Does this help scam artists who are trying to bilk people out of money by impersonating IRS agents? Yes, it, it, it does create a potential opportunity for scam artists. There's no doubt about that. And we've seen this already happen with the IRS before, where we've had situations where people are getting calls from these scammers that are impersonating the IRS, and they're saying, if you don't pay this tax immediately, you know, we're going to send you to jail and making all kinds of threats in order to scare people, and they make the payment. So we've seen this before, and it seems like this could potentially open up a door for those types of things to continue to happen. So here's what the IRS is talking about. They're, they're looking at starting this plan really at a slow pace. So the first step is they're going to start sending out letters to people at a pace of about 100 per week. And if they see that things are going relatively smoothly in that part of the process, they're actually going to increase that letter notification to about 1,000 per week, 1,000 letters. So the process from there is you would receive a letter from the IRS specifically telling you who the collection firm is going to be, okay? And then people also need to keep in mind that the initial contact that you get related to a tax collection matter is not going to be by phone. You will get a, le a letter first. Now, the reason that the IRS is rolling out this plan is specifically for long-standing tax debt. These are people who have owed tax for many, many years, and the IRS has been unsuccessful in collecting. So that's what they're outsourcing, and they're only using four firms that are going to be authorized in this process. And the other thing is, is that payments can only be sent to the IRS. So they're going to be requesting that your check or payment is going to be made to the U.S. Treasury. The problem is, is that people aren't aware of these facts. So as they hear about, oh, the IRS is having this new collection effort or the IRS is going after people, and then they get a phone call, they, they're not going to know these things. This really comes down to the, the IRS just doesn't have enough resources to collect uh, the taxes that are outstanding, and they're looking at outsourcing, and my guess is they probably won't do a good job in getting the word out as to how the process is going to work, and scam artists are going to take advantage.